Hey, what's up? This is Mikey from Blue Monkey Bicycles. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at two different electric bike kits, both of them from the same company, Unero, which is a Chinese importer. Let's go. So if you're like me and you're stuck inside with some form of isolation, uh, you've got plenty of time on your hand to do an electric bike conversion kit. So I got two different kits. One of them is a cheaper version. One of them is a slightly more expensive version. They're more or less the same in concept. So let's go ahead and get into the easy stuff. You can actually choose whether you want to get the rear wheel drive or front wheel drive versions of the motor, but in performance, it is exactly the same. It's a 1000 watt direct drive motor. And this kind of version can actually maintain speed pretty well. If you get the front wheel drive version, it's really easy to install. However, you're not going to get the same kind of quality of life when you ride it. If you get the rear wheel drive, your overall experience is going to be a little bit better, but you are going to need to attach a free wheel with gears on it on the rear. So you may need a bike shop to help you out with that, or at least get some special tools to make that happen. Also, another easy thing is the battery pack. You can get any kind of battery pack with these systems, and I chose the 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. Now that's got a battery with a fair amount of heft and a pretty good amount of distance as well. If you want something with a little more power, you'd probably go for a 52 volt. If you want something with a longer range, you'd go for a, long, a larger amp hour rating. So that stuff is the same, but what is the difference with the kits? So aside from the motor that we already covered, what you see here is included with 319 bucks. Not bad for what you're getting. Throttle, pedal assist, LCD display, brake cutoffs. Pretty good. So why is this system so cheap? Although the motor is rated for 1000 watts, with the cheaper system, you've got a controller that's rated for 11 amps, and I really don't think you're gonna use that motor anywhere near what it's for. The pedal assist is a cadence-based system, which is quite common, but this cheaper kit uses a five magnet sensor. Normally I see 12 or even eight magnets on a cheap bike, but this five magnet sensor really takes the cake. Now, if you're curious as to what this means, we actually made a video talking about pedal assist in more detail, and it goes over that topic. You'll see that up on the little pop-up here if you wanna check it out. So anyways, moving on. So the cheaper kit also includes a throttle, which is pretty dope. I would use it all the time. Now throttles are more or less all the same. There's not a huge difference between them, but one thing I actually don't like about this cheaper kit is that the throttle wire goes all the way through the bike and connects to the controller without any quick disconnect up by the handlebars. One thing I actually like about this cheaper system is the display. I actually dig a pretty simple and easy to use display that doesn't have a lot of features. For me, it helps me keep my eyes on the road, helps me keep my focus on the ride. I generally enjoy my time with a smaller display. Let's talk about the installation for just a bit. Now, the installation is going to vary widely depending on what kind of bike you put this on. One thing to look out for is to have enough space for mounting the battery rack. You're probably gonna want at least seven inches between the bottom bracket area of your bike and then going up to that first little spot where you screw in the plate for the battery. So one more thing about the controller box, if you have a step-through bike with a really large down tube, then you might be looking to mount your controller perhaps on a part of the seat post tube or maybe somewhere else. So what does this all come together to make? It is a simplified electric version of your favorite bike. If you've got time and you're on a budget, a conversion's not a bad idea. It's a fantastic way to learn more about how e-bikes work and what makes them tick. Now this cheap kit that I've got here amounts to $788. Now this company just happens to do coupons all the time. So in this case, I'm just north of 700 bucks here. So with everything that I've listed here, what is the point of getting the upgraded kit from this same company? Instead of the brake levers where you gotta replace the whole thing, the nicer kit has these attachments that will fit onto any brake. The display is much nicer and we will get to that. The throttle is virtually the same, except for that disconnect that I mentioned earlier. This is a great touch. Now the pedal assist sensor more than doubles the magnets coming in at 12 magnets on that sensor. And the controller is rated for 20 amps rather than the paltry 11. Now I know I said that I like the simpler display and yes, that's true, but this one is actually pretty nice. If it floats your boat, I would definitely recommend it. This guy is one of the better affordable displays on the market right now. This is the APT850, a very bright and beautiful, easy to read display that has a lot of hidden features and a great balance between detail and ease of use. It also sports a remote switch so that you can keep your hands on the wheel. Now, is this worth another 80 bucks? Well, that's up to you. Personally, if it were up to me, even though I like the simple display that's on the cheaper kit, 
Pretty much everything else on the nicer kit I like. I like the more magnets on the pedal assist. I especially like that larger amp output from the controller. I mean, that's almost double. That's a big, big help. The quick disconnects up front make my life a lot easier. So I think that I personally would opt for the more expensive kit. It's 80 more bucks, but then again, your quality of life every single mile on that kit is gonna make a big difference. So that concludes the review for the nicer and cheaper hub motor kits from Unero Electric Bikes. I did wanna tell you a little bit something about this company. Unero is a Chinese company. They are an importer of electric bikes, kits, and parts from China into the United States and other parts of the world. Now I can tell you with personal experience that I do trust Unero. A lot of times when you are dealing with a Chinese company, there's a lot of barriers. Uh, there's often a language barrier, there's often an expectation barrier, and unfortunately in some cases there are scams out there and that is quite unfortunate. But in this case, I do trust the folks at Unero. Despite the fact that you might get a general answer to a specific question if you ask them, they will answer you. They are there and they do care about their business and about their customer. So that's one thing that I can tell you about this company from my experience. Thanks again for watching this review. If there's something else that you want to see here on the channel, let me know and I would be happy to take it into consideration. I'm Mikey for Blue Monkey Bicycles and I will see you on the later.